This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, January 18th, to this coming Sunday, January 24th, 2021. We are getting past the beginning of this month and into the nitty-gritty of deciding what matters to us now. Last year pummeled us and presented so many things we had no control over. Now, in this new year, we seek, to say, we seek to take some of that control back, but it's still not completely clear how it's going to work out. But the good news is things are shifting in huge and in important ways. The best use of time now is to strategize about what matters to you, to lay out ways you would like your life to improve, from small details to large outcomes. Open the path for honoring your personal needs and your personal enrichment. Each day must include details for how you are allowing your own self-care, spiritual connection, personal healing and growth, loving connections, inspiring ideas, and engaging plans, all to lead you forth in a life you enjoy and are nourished and enriched by. And you have more control than you realize. You choose what you participate with. You make decisions that determine your experiences. You clear the energy of what no longer works for you, and you release emotions that have been inhibiting you. You let go of people, situations, and circumstances that are no longer in your best interest. All of this clears away blocks and impediments. Then you are ready to reframe and make new decisions that are in your highest interest and best outcomes. You will feel lighter and freer having faced the demands that have been dogging you to make decisions about. Allow completions and clear the decks. Now is the time to prepare for activities in alignment with who and how you wish to be. We have so much positive energy to assist us. Don't allow yourself to become muddled by the news, others' emotions, or unnecessary worry. Focus into your life and those that matter to you. Focus into your desired outcomes. And pay attention to where you are empathic. Those emotions, ideas, and feelings that don't belong to you, but that you have absorbed and picked up from someone else's energy. Ask your guides to place protection around you so you have clear energy. And it's time to really think about bringing yourself to a point of joy in your life. My landmark course, Living Your Joy, is on sale on purpose. So you can use this time to your best advantage to get everything in order and clear up the things that haven't been working for you for once and for all. Check out this life-changing course on my website, spiritpathways.net. And while you're on there, the 2021 New Energy Readings are still available as well. This is 30 minutes of connection and direction from your guides. We can discuss anything you like and open the energy to make this a great year for you. They are on sale. And all the information for your reading, it's there on my website, spiritpathways.net. All right. Let's get our cards, our nine cards for the energy of this week. No matter how you pull cards, if you do cards for yourself, you're always going to get the perfect cards. So just relax into allowing them to flow. Alright, let's see what we've got. Nice. I think it was this one.
all the details. These are minor arcana cards. We've just got two major, the Hanged Man and the Chariot of Big Energy. The rest of this is details. So we're starting out with the Two of Wands. This is fantastic energy to show you that what you wish for, you, you're, you've got it. <laughs> you're holding the world in your hands. You're up in this balcony overlooking the vista in front of you. This is about realizing you have so many opportunities. There's so much available to you now. And going ahead and taking action on that. Wands is fire. It's action. Two is bringing things to you. So not too much sort of analyzing about this, but literally shifting into the aspect of allowing. This world in your hands, it's like the world is your oyster. All the things are available to you. But yes, you've got to take the action to bring those things to you, to allow yourself to begin experiencing them. So thinking about the steps that you need to take. So many ideas. The Seven of Pentacles. These are all, each one of these pinnacles represents an idea that you've been having. And they're at different stages of development. Some are in full bloom and ready to be fully realized, and others are still just beginning, just little seedlings beginning to sprout. So all of these ideas are interesting to you, and you need to decide which ones you want to move forward with. The Hanged Man, perfect, <laughs> perfect card to go with the energy of the message just now. This is about timing, and this is about things behind the scenes that we have no control over. And just having to wait for the better timing. Having to wait for things behind the scenes to come into alignment for us. And... Changing our perspective, allowing a new perspective, which is going to open that energy up. And while you're waiting for things to happen, allow the epiphanies. Allow that spiritual aha awakening that's going to get you into better alignment for the outcomes that you are interested in. And again, repeating the emphasis of having a different perspective this is a new year and we need to approach things differently. We need to not go backwards. That's impossible. We're not going to go back to where we were before. So we need to start setting the plans of where we want to become, who we want to become, where we want to end up, what our desired outcomes are. Because as this timing comes into alignment, we're going to be able to take advantage of that fantastic placement. The Eight of Swords is about those ideas in your mind that are holding you back. Self-imposed limitations. Too much analyzing, too much overthinking. This just got you all bound up. You're not going to move forward as long as you're convincing yourself that you can't. So this is a card about, you know, the, the hangman said change your perspective. <laughs> And this card takes it to a higher octave. You absolutely have to get out of this energy, energy of overthinking things. Nothing is going to happen in this space. So instead of filling yourself with self-imposed limitations, you know, let's look for some affirmations. Let's look for some gratitude. Let's open up the energy by identifying what you're happy about. And start with the simplest things and then work up to the bigger things or it will become overwhelming. And this is a default pattern for a lot of people. So it's something you have to very mindfully and willfully change. You've got to change negative thinking. Negative thinking is not going to get you anywhere. It never solves anything. You've got to move forward with positive anticipation of goodness, of the miracle, of, oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. How exciting. Here in the middle energy, I feel we've pulled this card probably a couple of times so far this year. The Five of Cups. It's about being stuck in looking back, being stuck in trying to reclaim something that happened before. And again, nothing's going to happen in this energy. 
allow yourself to grieve what it is you felt you lost. And yes, give yourself 15 minutes of grieving and then move on. Because again, it's this same energy. Nothing is going to happen when you keep telling the story of what was before. You've got to stop that old story because you're not going back. Things don't work in reverse. It's all about moving forward, crossing this bridge and getting to these new opportunities. They are there for you, but you can't see them as long as you're focused in the past. You've got to pivot and look forward. So much available to you, connected to having the world in your hands and all these ideas, amazing energy to help you move forward. Very exciting. And then you had the two of wands here, the world in your hands. Now you've got the three of wands. The actual experience of going ahead and engaging with this world right here. With the ideas that that world holds for you. You're still here on the higher ground. This time you're overlooking the bay and the water and sort of the emotional connection to what it is you want to experience. And you've taken action on the world and the oyster. The world is your oyster and, and the opportunities and all those ideas for you. And now you're seeing the outcomes and the results. You, This is... The card of allowing this. Just get into this mind frame. Instead of analyzing what's going wrong, which is these two cards, you need to think about and perhaps analyze what could go right. What could be amazing? What would be the absolute best, fantastic thing that I would like to experience? That's this card. That's the experience, the journey, the taking action on what you want to enjoy and experience. And still in the details here, we've got the Eight of Cups. It's time to forge a new path. It's absolutely, again, they're reinforcing it again. Walk away from the things that are finished and done. Forge the new path. You don't actually need to know where you're going because the grass will be greener. It will turn out all right, but you've got to take the steps. You've got to start on this new path. Take these stepping stones. March away from what hasn't been working for you. Even if it's just the small little detail that you need to tweak in your life, now is the time. It's still January. We're still laying out the energy of this year and how we want things to unfold. So absolutely walk away from anything that hasn't been working for you, whether it's a person or a situation or a circumstance anything you've outgrown, anything that no longer suits you and no longer honors you, that's what this energy is about. You've done enough reflection. That's the eclipsing moon. And now it's time to make positive steps forward to your new future, your better future. <laughs> and again, to emphasize it, in case you aren't getting this message, the Nine of Wands, you can continue doing things the way that you've been doing them and expecting a different outcome, but it's just not going to happen. <laughs> this card says you've got to do things differently. You've got to change how you've been doing things. You've got to stop fighting that old battle. The old battle no longer suits you and all it's doing is just making you weary and exhausted and frustrated. So this is about, you've got to make some changes in how you approach things. You've got to stop the negative thinking. You've got to stop telling the story of the past. You've got to forge a new path and then embrace your ideas and all this amazing help here with the world in your hands and the high vista of completing things. So yes, you've got to do things differently. And then the chariot again is emphasizing this message. This, these are all details. Details of how to get your life on track. And each one of these cards is giving you a very specific and important message. And the chariot says, yes, once you overcome your inner struggles, then things are going to take off. 
And these cards are telling you how to overcome the inner struggles, the details of how to do that. Because you do have dreams, you do have connection, you do have a network, you do have ways and means and hows to ac accomplish the things that are going to make you the happiest. But don't let old energy, old ideas get in your way. These sphinxes will jump up and pull this chariot as soon as you change the way that you've been doing things and you forge the new path and you instead get in touch with what you're grateful for and what you're happily and eagerly anticipating and you stop telling the story of the past and you start telling the story of your future. Incredible, very deep message for us this week and, and very specific things that you can work on right here in January. It's the 18th. Heading up, this is the third week of January. Let's get the energy straight. Let's get things in alignment for you. And I'm here for you. Let's have a reading. I've got openings all week. You don't have to wait long for your reading. I'm available. And I can't wait to connect with you. Let's get the energy straight. And let's get you on track for all the things that you want to experience with eager anticipation in your life. Have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.